I'm thrilled to be joined by Jordan Davis, little guy here, young fella, 22 years old, Jordan. Uh, uh, they, the expression is living the dream. Are you living the dream? Every day. Yeah. Every day I wake up, I'm blessed and I'm highly favored. So, you know, I just say, man, I'm living the dream every time I come to work. You grew up in Charlotte. So, I mean, was it like a, a populated part of Charlotte? Like, I, I, I'm wondering, the reason I ask is, was Georgia a great place for you to meet a lot of people from a lot of different backgrounds and cultures and races, et cetera? Definitely. You know, um, coming from Charlotte, you know, it's a big city kid. Um, but going to Georgia, you see the small town lifestyle. Um, real laid back, real cool, and just different, you know, creeds, colors, everything. Um, you got people from South Georgia, um, you know, they're just growing up in the country, and then you have people from Atlanta, you know, bigger city than Charlotte. So everybody, in, it's, it's a lot of people from New Jersey that go to uh, UGA too. So, Interesting. Yeah, so um, it was just, you know, get the chance to meet everybody and know everything, and I think that's one of the reasons why I love Georgia so much, especially in my later years, so I can, you know, branch out and, you know, network with people and, get to know everybody and, you know, just have a good time with everybody else. I want to go through your bio before we talk a little football here. Um, uh, your first job, you worked at, at an amusement park. Carowinds. Doing what? Admissions. Okay. That was the only, one of the only jobs that was indoors during the summer. Um, you know, it gets hot. You don't want to be operating rides outside and the stuff like that. But I also didn't want to work retail. So uh, admissions was a good chance to just sit inside, hand out tickets, you know, scan season passes and um, lots of good stuff. It was a fun time. OK. Uh, you when you were a kid, you wanted to be an astronaut um, fascinated with space. Interesting. Definitely. Um, it's the unknown. Uh, we're learning more about it, obviously, but it's just so it's it's scary to think about. That there's land, that there's that there's a civilization out there, that I there's just, aliens. Do you believe that there is civilized life anywhere but Earth? I, I don't know. I mean, obviously, you know, we're, we're, we're one of a kind, but just, man, just the thought of, you know, another sentient life just out there. But um, for right now, I just kind of focus on the, on the human beings. I mean, you know, until... A lot to learn about the human beings. Definitely. LeBron James and Kobe Bryant, are you a basketball player? Have you been in your life? I have. I, I grew up a basketball player, but um, more so now I can't, I right. can't play. Well, I, I, I think, uh, you know, you've got a big body. Like, what was your game? Fouls. <laughs> I was a foul guy. You know, I get in there. They're like, yeah, we need him to foul out. Like, just go in there. Pocket presence. You know, uh, paint presence. Uh, just go in there, be a big guy. You know, make it hard for them to drive through the paint and uh, get the rebounds when I can. I uh, didn't really score points. So, What is your shooting range? You know, from I say from the foul line to anywhere in the paint. Okay, what, what were you? Were you a good free throw shooter? You had to be if you're gonna be a big guy. Okay, you know? that's true. That's true. Uh, Family Guy, your favorite TV show? I mean, we all we all love Family Guy. Yep. Uh, um, tacos, favorite food? Tacos. Interesting. I just I thought you maybe he's a burger guy. Nah, tacos, man. Tacos is very good. Um, I love it. I Great. Love it. Hey, uh, uh, how how was like? I'm asking this of all the rookies. Um, describe your rookie season and what have you learned, Jordan? Mm. It's hectic. Everything about this game is hectic, but it's um, it all comes together. It all comes together, and um, slowly but surely, I'm finding my way. But it's very hectic, especially rookie season. I heard that from everybody that I talked to. You say rookie year is the longest. You coming from college, working out, training, you don't really have a break. Your rookie season, you're just jumping in a lot of stuff, but um, it's an experience of a lifetime, and I think that's the way that I carry it, and I carry it myself. It's like, man, like this is an experience of a lifetime. You know, whether I play, you know, one year or play eleven or twelve, you know, it's like you just have to take it all in and enjoy where you're at and be where your feet are. Have you been able to take a breath? Because they do say that rookies, that first year, like it just happens, as you say, so fast, everything's so hectic. Have you been able to step back and just take a deep breath? Not yet, not yet, but um, definitely this uh, off season I'll be able to take a deep breath, reflect, and then just enjoy it. You know, um, I'm along for the ride right now, so um, we're soaring high right now, and we have to continue that, and we have to put in the work, but um, for right now, it's just the dream come true, and I feel like I'm living that every day. You've, you said early in, in preseason and in, in training camp, is all about learning technique, 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 technique. Have you gotten better at technique? Definitely. Um, daily improvements every day. And um, I think the guys see it. 
um, that's really who I'm playing for is the guys. You know, um, it's not really not in that room or in this this building or this facility. Their opinions don't matter. So um, you just have to listen to those guys, and you know they know the way. They know what what it looks like to be right. I mean, guys in that room run that uh, not national championships but world championships. So to be able to do that when the guys and learn from them and just to have them you know, put their arm around me. It's a real great experience. Have you been humbled yet in the game of football at the NFL level? Yes. Yes. Uh, <laughs> you know, a couple of players, they get you, you know, a couple of plays here and there, but you just have to, you know, go back at it. You know, it's, uh, it, you just, uh, you what does it mean to get humble though for you? Like getting knocked on your butt or getting knocked on your butt, you know, getting blocked, you know, sometimes we call it getting strapped. So, you know, you're, you're getting held and you can't really do anything. So, um, it's it's a it's a humbling experience. I, w- I wouldn't even call it a humble experience. I just say it's it's part of the game, and you know you just that's what you work towards, and not get that humble moment. And uh, I always say you have to be humble in the game of football because football will find a way to humble you if you don't. So um, I think it's great. You know, it's a learning experience. I look on film and I'm like, all right, this is what I need to do better. This is why I need to work my hands, get his hands off me. He has strong hands. Um, there's a lot of vet guys that I go against, so they have a lot of tips and trades and. They just know how to block and the position their bodies. It's just so much that they have for the experience. And I'm just a rookie coming in, but slowly trying to learn how to break through those walls. Are you living with your family in Philly? Not living with. I, okay. I can't do that. I was going to say. I can't do that was, every day. Okay. But um, <laughs> they're, 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 they're very close. Uh, they're in Delaware. So um, just a short drive. Well, I wouldn't call High school it short. Kids? No. They're, uh, one's in, just started sixth grade and one's starting fourth. Wow. So, yeah. So it's. Um, they play ball? Trying to get them involved. Okay. You know, they're all concerned about the, you know, uh, you know, COVID really messed a lot of things up with the sports world. Sure. But we're trying to get them back in. But, you know, right now they're playing uh, video games all day. So. I got you. Well, just, I'm sure you were the same way. Now now hey. you're like the old you're like the old, old big brother going, now get away from those video games. Right, right. Because that's the way I started. But I picked up the f- football and here you are. Um, Jordan, do, uh, almost done here. Um, has your family uh, kind of shared in the experience of you? Being with the Philadelphia, do they come to the games? Yeah, definitely. What's it um, like for them? It's well, I would say my little brothers come every once in a while, but my mom's at every game, so uh, it's great. Um, you know, we have a ritual where we pray before every game, and you know, just having that being really special. And it's her favorite team, so yep, yep. you know, it's only right for her to come and enjoy herself, and you know, see what it's really like to be a Philadelphia Eagle. And I'm just grateful for the experience. Uh, being a rookie, um, what is it like walking in that locker room? You still have to earn your keep, right? You're Definitely. not. You're, next year, you can go back. You can be the the, the you know the veteran. Um, you are a rookie, so how do you how do you kind of like earn the respect of this uh, of the of the veterans on this team every day? Bring it, bring it every day, and um, e- even if you're not a rookie, you still got to bring it every day. Um, but just. I think this is a very well connected team, and you know I came in, they embraced me, and they embrace all the players, whether you're undrafted or a first round pick. So I think that's something special about this team, and it shows on Sundays. You know, you can feel the connection, you can feel the love, you can feel the thrive. Even when things don't go our way, we're like, offense, we got you. Defense, we got you. So um, just to be a part of this team and to be a part of this family, you know, it's a, not just the team; it's a family that we're preaching. So to come out here and do this every week, it's, it's like you're not working. So, you know, our big paycheck is on Sundays where we're able to show our work that we put in through the week. But every day we just come in, we get connected, we get tighter, and we just get closer. Last one. How big, how intense is the rivalry between Georgia guys in the locker room and the Alabama guys in the locker room? And, I mean, how, how do you kind of, like, look at that that college football landscape right now? Right now, we're uh, we're keeping it cool. We're keeping it cool. <laughs> you know, um, everybody's in their separate, you know, we're in their separate lanes. But I think once December start closing in and we start getting closer and closer to that, then, you know, the trash talk is going to get a little get a little <laughs> louder. But uh, for right now, we're just going to focus on the games that we have. We haven't played each other yet. So, you know, um, definitely think that we'll be seeing each other soon if everything goes well. So. Uh, Georgia and Alabama once again. Jordan Davis, thank you so much for joining me here on the Eagles Insider Podcast. You, Best of you. luck. Sunday in Arizona, the Eagles and the Arizona Cardinals.